Hey there, Leah. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be uh, just a general bonus reading for you guys. Um, I do have uh, personal readings open right now. I have the video readings open. Um, I was just doing the email, so I now have the video open as well. If you guys are interested, all of that information is going to be in the description box down below. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started here for you, Leo. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Some of you guys could be a Cancer or Gemini moon or rising. Okay. So. You have the Hermit in the very middle. So this is your center card, okay? It's the heart of the matter. So this is Virgo energy. So Leo, I feel like there's something here where you're kind of isolating yourself, and I'm not sure if this is so, so, social isolation, just physical isolation. Whatever this is, though, I feel like the challenge is that you lack direction. So I almost feel like something is stuck, okay, with the star card, um, you know, crossing this because that's your challenge position. So, I mean, this could involve a Virgo or an Aquarius here, but truthfully, I feel as if, you know, there's something here where you're either losing hope in a situation Situation, or you just lack direction because we do use stars to guide us. So I feel like you're not really sure where to turn. There's just a very stuck energy that I feel you guys in. What you're working towards is the Two of Pentacles. So it's possible that you have a decision that you need to make, okay? Um, Jupiter and Capricorn energy with that Two of Pentacles. Uh, for the most part, I feel like there's a lot of planning, a lot of sorting things out at this point in time or sorting through things, even if these are just emotions. You have the chariot laying down here in your subconscious. I actually want to look at that, okay? What's going on with the chariot here for Leo? I need a chair here for Leo, please. We're getting the full card, according to energy. I almost feel like you guys want to be free from something here and you're not and you're not doing it okay so there's something here that you want to let go of it's possible maybe that you just want to let go of a problem in a situation you don't necessarily want to let go of this situation entirely so that's something that i'm feeling here as well okay but with the chariot and the full card being here you know as what's below you that's something that you're not really aware of so um you know i honestly feel as if for a lot of you guys this could be saying that you need to actually just leave the situation okay let's actually look at that two of pentacles and see what's going on with it what's going on with the two of pentacles please because what lies above you is what you're working towards here, Leo. So give me that two of pentacles for Leo. Six of swords. Okay, yeah. I feel like you're in a really... How do I put this here? I guess it would be like a reflective space, you know? Um, but I also feel as if there's something here that's really emotionally troubling. I mean, you look here in this card. You can see it in the background there. The water's up and down. Okay, so there is an up and down energy here. I feel like that's what you're trying to work out of because you see it down here as well, right? These tumultuous waters. He's trying to move towards these calm, still waters over here. Okay, you have the two of cups in the past. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this has something to do with the connection. It could just be something that you felt was very balanced and, you know, harmonious. Yeah, Six of Cups, okay, a gift from the universe here. Uh, sun and Scorpio energy. So I feel like you thought some a problem was over, okay, so a past problem was over, or you thought you had healed from something, or you thought that, you know, some kind of issue was over is basically how I feel here, and harmony and balance had been restored, but I feel like something's coming back up, all right? You have the Strength card is what you're working towards. Give me the Strength card, Five of Pentacles. Mercury and Taurus. I feel like you're trying to get somebody to understand your your view, okay? Your side of things, all right? Because if you look here in this card, there are two figures walking there. You know, this can be a card of feeling left out in the cold. I feel like you're just feeling, you're, you're not feeling hurt in a situation, okay? Strength card, you're feeling very hold back. You're feeling very held back, okay? Or silenced within a situation here. Give me one more on the strength card, please. Um, Queen of Cups. Yeah, so this is showing up as the near future. I feel like there's going to be a lot of expression, uh, that takes place here between you and an individual. The temperance card. Okay, so that's balance, harmony, peace. All right. Sag energy here. So showing up as your feelings, you have the eight of swords. So like I said, I think you're in a very stuck energy here, Leo. Give me the eight of swords, please, for Leo. What was that? The seven of swords. Oof. Yeah, you feel taken from. Like I said, I think that in the past, you felt like things like harmony had been restored within a situation where there was an issue, okay? And now I feel like that problem is coming back up or that problem never actually left, okay? Uh, so you feel cheated in some way, shape, or form or you feel taken from in some way, shape, or form, okay? Um, either way it goes, I feel like balance is going to be brought to the situation even if that comes from you leaving the situation, but we're going to find out. You have the Page of Swords showing up uh, as your um, environment. Some of you could have an air sign moving in here, all right? Um... But that's showing up in your environment. So I feel like there will be some kind of message 
Pages are messengers, so let's look there. What's going on with the Page of Swords in the environment for Leo? Some kind of news is coming in, okay? The world card, something's being closed out, is how that feels to me. Uh, fixed energy there, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. And this could simply be a problem closing out. Get, let's get one more on this, please. The Ten of Cups, okay? Yeah, so there's happiness here regardless is how I'm feeling here truthfully, okay? Uh, Mars and Pisces energy. I almost like you've been in a space where you are trying to keep the peace. You're not really trying to confront an issue. Uh, if this is not you, then it's whoever this is that you're connecting with, where there's just been this energy of trying uh, to keep the peace. Now, showing up in your... Um, but I feel like there, whatever has been held back, I feel like that's what's coming in because that's showing up in your environment. And the world card suggests that something is going to close out. You have the King of Wands here, okay? Leo energy showing up as your hopes and fears. So you do want to tackle an issue head on is how I'm seeing this, okay? There's just something about it here that makes it really hard to confront for whatever reason. Give me the King of Wands for Leo, please. Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah, I almost feel like this has been talked about before, okay? Again, I feel like this is an issue that you're having with an individual that keeps coming up. This doesn't even have to be a romantic partner, okay? Give me one more on this. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, something's out of balance here, okay? Something is out of balance. Somebody, for some of you guys, there's some kind of work situation here where there's some kind of favoritism going on. So I feel like that's something that you are trying to address here, okay? Um, I feel like it's something that you've possibly addressed in the past and it's coming back up again or it's happening with a new person. It's something like that here, all right? But I feel like the communication is just off between this Queen of Swords and King of Wands. It's very combative and aggressive and passive-aggressive. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling here. So, give me one more on this. I keep saying give me one more. Queen of Wands, Aries Energy. So, yeah, I truthfully feel like you're, you're trying to bring balance to this situation. You have the King and Queen of Wands out here. Whether it's a work situation or a connection, I feel like you just want balance to be brought into this situation in general, okay? Um, Queen of Wands to me is also a card of somebody who's committing to something, all right? So it's possible that you want commitment, especially with that World card showing up here because the World can sometimes be a change of status, okay? Now you have the Hangman showing up as your final outcome, Pisces Energy. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's look at the Hangman, please, as the final outcome for Leo. Two of Swords, okay, so yeah, I feel like you're stuck in place still for the time being, okay? Moon and Libra energy there. I almost feel like whatever, you've got three twos showing up here. So the number two is going to be very significant to you right now. Twos do represent connections. They also represent um, balance as well as decisions, all right? So there's something about that here where I feel like you're going to have to make the next move is basically how I'm seeing this, okay? So like I said, I feel like there's something here that you don't want to confront. I feel like it's coming into your environment. You're getting the opportunity to confront something or to say or to speak your piece, whatever this might be uh, for you. And I feel like it's something that you're not really saying or doing for some reason. Give me that hangman again, please. For Leo, the will of fortune, okay? I think it's something that you don't really want to close out. It's possible that you're afraid of something closing out because you confront an issue. So let's look at that. Some of you guys just need to pick a path. You just need to do something here. The high priestess, Pisces energy, yeah. I feel like there, there's so much energy here of just holding yourself back from either, you know, turning this wheel or closing a cycle. It's one of the two, okay? I feel like it's different for all of you guys, but that's what I'm saying here. It seems like you're, the, the move is yours. It's basically how I feel here, Leo. So um, I hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Uh, keep in mind that if you want something a little more tailored to your energy, I do have personals open. All that information you can find within the description box, but if this is where we part. Again, thank you so much for watching and you all enjoy your week. Bye.